Real Spurlock Nation to Studio 21, deep in the recesses of our office complex here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's a glorious day outside, but today I wanted to stand in front of our black backdrop and talk to you a little bit about methods to reduce plastic shrinkage. Sure. We know that nobody likes cracks in their concrete and there's different types of cracks we got into. The majority of them come from plastic or drying shrinkage. Today we want to talk to you about ways to reduce plastic shrinkage. Sure. So we're talking about initial curing, we're talking about other products. Brent, for many years, you did nothing but, but send concrete out to people and had to talk to them about why they had little cracks 18 inches long or as we say in the south, about yay big. Yeah, about yay big. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, yeah, I did work in the concrete business, ready mix concrete business for about 20 years. And, and one of the most common occurrences in this part of the country, especially in the spring and fall, was plastic shrinkage cracking. Um, and and we've, we've described what plastic shrinkage cracking is in a previous video, so we won't dig into that uh, too deeply. So today we're going to talk about how to prevent it. But it, we will, just a quick overview, it's, it's the fast evaporation of water due to high wind speeds, low humidity, hot concrete temperatures, uh, that it's the fast evaporation, too fast to be replaced by bleed water and that causes the, the plastic shrinkage cracking issues on the surface. Now, there's a few ways to combat this. Number one, that's easy to do is to use an appropriate amount of fibers in your concrete. Uh, if you use fibers in your concrete, you can, you know, you want to use a, a fiber that's designed for combating plastic shrinkage cracking, but uh, uh, fibers can help you tremendously. Number two, you can erect windbreaks or shade. So to keep the concrete out of the sun, you can put windbreaks up, like uh, the way I've done it, seen it uh, done effectively in the past is just tarps, you know, along the side of a building to keep the wind from blowing across that surface. Um, there's some other ways misting the concrete surface, I think is, a, is, is one that is uh, detailed in ACI 308. Yeah, believe. if you go to ACI 308, they got a whole section on initial curing. Yep. And we just kind of wanted to give you a quick overview of, of certain things. And there are evaporation retarders out there yeah. that's on the market that are, are meant to help. Yeah, you're going to hear people talk about monomolecular evaporation retarders. And those are spray applied evaporation retarders that, that keep the water, that bleed water from leaving as quickly. So there's a lot of products on the market, a lot of methods on the market that can help you. Uh, one of the coolest things on the market though are those little portable weather stations. That, that I love. It's got a little fan on it, you know, yeah. measures wind speed, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, so those can give you real world, real time information about humidity, wind speed, and uh, your thermometer can give you the concrete temp, and you can have those calculations. In some cases, I believe, some, don't they do the calculations there, right there on the thing? Some do, but there are apps out there that yeah. you can program, put all your information into. They'll tell you the severity of, of potentials yeah. for shrinkage, uh, plastic shrinkage, and even drying shrinkage. So basically, if your evaporation rate, I believe if it's above 0 0.10 pounds per square foot per hour, uh, then you are in a precautions may be needed kind of kind of range, but if you're above 0 0.20 pounds per square foot per hour evaporation rate, then it's time to absolutely take precautions to prevent plastic shrinkage cracking. So, Spray Like Nation, if you got any questions you want to ask us about concrete or any other shrinkage, uh, as far as plastic shrinkage, drying shrinkage, or any other concrete questions, please reach out to us. We would love to talk about concrete, whether it's something our products will help or not. Yeah. We're here as an informational resource. Thank you so much.